All right, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do your basic classroom. I'm doing I'm doing this on my school laptop. Most of my stuff I do on my phone because on my school laptop, everything's pretty limited. So what I did was I just opened a new slide. I deleted the text boxes and I'm going to go to insert image search the web. All right, so I'm going to type in floor and wall. Choose one that I like. And again, I'm on my school and laptop, so I'm sure when I search pictures, you guys will have a lot more options than I have. Okay, I'm just resizing it. All right, so now I'm going to add a bookshelf. Okay. So again, go to, let's see. There we go. All right. So we're going to go to insert image, search the web again. We're going to look for a bookshelf. And I'm going to type in with a transparent background. This will give you a bookshelf without the white square in the back bookcase with transparent background. Okay, so I'm going to choose that one. And I'm going to resize it. It's a little too small. Make it a little bit bigger. All right, so there's my bookcase. All right, so let's say you want to do a, a Promethean board. So what I would do, go to shapes right here. And I'm going to choose this rectangle. And now I'm going to make my shape. And it's already going to come up with the um, white in there. To get the border around it, go here and make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, I'm going to add a couch insert image, search the web to show you how to recolor. So let's say you find a couch you like, but you don't like the color of it. So there's my couch. Resize it again. It's a pretty big box there. Okay. All right, so there's my couch. There we go. All right, so let's say I don't like the color that my couch is. So what I'm going to do is right click, go to format options, and then recolor right here. Okay, and then you have, I'm going to change it to this gray, a gray couch. Okay. All right, so let's say I want to move objects in front of or behind. So what I would do there is uh, right click. So I'm going to move this bookshelf to the front. So right click order bring to front okay if you want to move it to the back I'm gonna, um, right click order send it to the back okay um to add a book what i did was um i searched on here i would add a right click copy image go back to my classroom Paste it in there. Oops, paste. And resize it for my shelf. Okay. All right, and I will just keep resizing it until it fits on one of the little shelves right there. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much the basics, um, moving them front and back and getting it started. I will upload another video. I hope this helped you guys. Thank you for watching.